hey how's it going guys so in this video i'll be showing you how you're gonna install the latest vmware workstation 17 player on windows okay on windows 11 all right and then i'm also gonna show you how you're gonna install um an iso file okay it can be any iso such as windows xp windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 10 windows 11 as well okay so i'll be installing this windows 10 home version okay version 21 h1 all right so all right so what you need to do is you will have this website you want to scroll down and you're gonna see download now here okay so you're gonna click on this download now all right i've already downloaded that okay let's redo this i'm gonna click download over there and as you can see it is over um, 577 mb okay in size all you gotta do is to just wait for the download to be complete all right and yeah stay with me this is gonna be a full tutorial all right i'm gonna uh, show you everything step by step all right after the download has completed all you have to do is click open all right you're gonna locate it run the setup file as administrator or just double click it will open and if you see a prompted menu just click yes and this might take a few seconds as you can see here and from here all you have to do is click next i accept the terms okay hit next and here if you want to add vmware workstation console tools into a system path okay so all you have to do is to just leave everything to default and hit next all right so check for product updates on startup nope i would not check those all right i'm gonna hit next i'm gonna create yes i'm gonna create a shortcut on my desktop but i'm not create a start menu program folder i'm just gonna hit install all right and now this depends on how fast your pc is and it's gonna yeah oh all you add is to just wait for it all right i don't know why i'm i'm choking all right and as you can see it says finish so from there all you add is to you're gonna see the shortcut will be on your desktop all you have to double click that all right and if you don't have the license key for vmware workstation so you gotta check use vmware workstation 17 player for free for non-commercial use okay but if you do have a license key you're gonna click here and you're gonna register your license key but since i don't have one maybe i'll use a crack version later but for now this is for non-commercial use only okay i'm gonna hit continue i'm gonna hit finished all right now once you get this um if you want to create a new virtual machine if if you have an existing virtual machine already just click open and if you want to upgrade to vmware workstation pro you gotta click here to upgrade okay but since uh I, i'm gonna show you how to install an iso all right so here's the iso file and if i do pour this on it you can see the size of the iso file is over 5 gb okay this windows 10 home version is 5 gb so I, i'm gonna click on create a new virtual machine all right and here as you can see uh you're gonna get this install from if you have a disk inserted if this iso is onto a disk or if it's on um a usb flash drive you can plug your usb flash drive into your pc laptop or whatever that you have and it's going to get detected from here but if it's like this in the uh file iso format you're gonna click browse okay and you're gonna locate it as you can see here it is the disk image file you know select this and you're gonna hit open like that you're gonna hit next and since i don't have a windows pro key all right i'm just gonna leave that to let's say windows home this is windows 10 home all right and i'm
say if you want to enter a password, you want to create a password. But if not, if you don't want to insert any password, just hit next. All right. And here you can you can specify the disk capacity, how much uh, maximum disk you want to uh, give that, or if you want to split. Okay, if you want to split this installation of Windows 10 into another disk, or if you if you would like to store this as a single file okay i would like to split them all right and here you can give or you you can also increase this to say if you have this space i suggest that 60 gbs will be enough okay so, and then i'm gonna split the virtual disk into multiple files all right oh you can just select as a single file as well And here, uh, if you don't wanna, as you can see, this is this is gonna be the default hardware, but you can do customize the hardware if you want. You can customize the hardware, and here you can adjust how many memory RAM, okay, how many the RAM you'd like to give it, okay. So, so if your PC has 32 gigs of RAM, then you can increase it to 8 gigs. But uh, for uh, Windows 10, I s do believe that 4 GB of RAMs would be enough, okay? And for the processors, okay, now don't go any higher than 2 processors, alright? And it all depends on how fast is your CPU. Say if you have a Ryzen 8 cores, 6 cores, maybe a Ryzen 5 3600, but I do have a Ryzen 7 5700G, okay? That that is a uh, eight cores uh, processors. Okay, it is a uh, eight core Ryzen seven processor. All right, it is eight cores. But here, I will not give all the eight cores. I'll probably give two, eight, uh, two cores. All right, and for the network adapter, if you'd like to bridge your network, here it it's gonna bridge your network. Of your win of your main windows which is this one windows 11 it's gonna bridge that network to the windows 10 all right and if you'd like to give like um what you detect the display a uh, printer sound card okay what you detect sound card and usb controllers as well it's gonna preview it's gonna give like a uh, usb 3.1 or usb 2.0 Alright, so just leave everything to default. Uh, as for the RAM, I'm just gonna give 3 GB of uh, RAM, okay? 3 GB of RAM. Alright, and I'm gonna hit close. And I'm gonna hit finished. And here, as you can see, it's gonna be creating the disk. So, as soon as the disk has created, you can maximize this. Yeah, this. As you can see, uh, you're gonna see the Windows 10 setup, guys. Okay, you're gonna see the preview of Windows 10 setup. As you can see, setup is starting. All you have is to wait here. All right. And here you have some functions. You can shut down. You can suspend. Okay. You can restart. Yeah. If you wanna enter full screen. As you can see right now the full screen is not showing full screen. Alright. Uh okay, it's not showing full screen because when the setup file, okay, when when the setup windows setup installing windows mode here, right? Okay. So all you have to do is just to wait. Uh it is copying the Windows files. It's getting the files ready for installation as you can see. Uh this go this is gonna go faster if you are installing onto uh, an ssd okay it all depends on where you you're installing this if you have an ssd then it's, it's gonna go it, it's gonna go faster but if you're installing that on a mechanical hard drive then uh, i'm sure that you have, you'll have to wait a little more longer than that but uh, as you can see uh, here it is going faster since I've ha I have like three 
Okay, I have like one, two, three, four SSDs of five hundred gigabytes. Okay, all of them are SSDs. Alright, as you can see, ninety-seven percent and ninety-eight. And yeah, this is gonna be the same like you're installing Windows. Okay, as you can see, installing the updates and then it will be finishing up. Then you're gonna see the Windows will be restarted. Okay, it's gonna get restarted a few times. So just wait for it. As you can see here, uh, Windows need to restart to continue. So restarting. In five seconds four seconds so uh, if you want you can just click or start now all right i was going to see getting devices ready okay it's gonna give you a percentage so all you got is to just sit tight and wait for this And yes, guys, one thing I forgot to mention is that this Windows 10 Home, it is a uh, uh, version 21H1, okay? But there is a latest version, which is Windows 10 22H2, okay? Uh, I do believe that uh, the .NET Framework 4.8, okay, 4.8.1, that is the latest .NET Framework in December 2022, Okay, it is already uh it already installed on this ISO version. Okay, so you don't have to download that .NET framework. Okay. Alright, guys, we are almost there. As you can see, we are getting everything ready for you. Alright. And uh, uh, yeah, one thing I would like to to point out say if you click in here you're gonna see your mouse disappear and how you're gonna get your mouse back okay you all you gotta do onto your keyboard tap on Control alt plus m okay and then try move your mouse okay you're gonna see your mouse uh the key will be back all right and as you can see guys voila it's done okay here onto the welcoming page all right now it's gonna be restarting one more time all right all you, all you gotta do is just to yeah sit back and let let it do its thing all right and voila guys okay voila now i'm sure that you don't want to use this like in this smaller screen then what you what you're gonna do you're gonna click to you're gonna go there up there what says play here or blah 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 you can see this enter full screen mode you're gonna click this and voila and here you can pin this to the top or you can just pin it this is what we call a command bar okay the top bar is what we call a command bar you can click on this to hide it all right and voila guys we are on windows 10 finally and if i do this and i write winver you can see we currently on windows 10 okay windows 10 version 21 h1 all right as you can see windows 10 version 21 h1 os built blah 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 okay and now you can just yeah use it as a Windows 10 OS you you can use it as a window Windows 10 operating system and you can go ahead and install Google Chrome uh, Mozilla Firefox and so on all right so complete setup 
here continue without signing in uh first thing that i would like to install is winrar all right so i'm just gonna go search winrar i'm gonna click download all right uh, download for the english version okay and if i go here i go to this pc i right click here i do properties you'll be able to see the full information okay as i said before my main pc e my main cpu has a amd ryzen 7 5700 g okay uh and uh, as you see we've installed three okay we've given the memory ram okay as three gigabytes all right um yeah all right so installing this There, WinRAR has officially been downloaded. There, and then, um, Silverblood 1.1.2. Alright. Going, uh, redirecting to GitHub. And I'm going to click download over there. Alright, and this is gonna be adding to the download folder, so you can click on show in folder, okay? So, yeah. Continue downloading, okay? Alright. Yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. You can go to personalize, uh, you can choose any backgrounds, pictures, you can set any of that uh but you need to activate windows before you can personalize this pc okay as you can see on top over there so if i click on activate windows here uh i'll make another video how to activate this windows 10 for free okay all right so yeah thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you boy gaming signing out bye bye